Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me today is Victor Callender. Victor and I noticed something, and when I noticed it, I asked questions. I asked, is Donville Ennis' wife on the island? Is she on the island? Was she on the plane with him? Where is she? Because I distinctly heard him say, wait, let me not drop my bag of Viagra, some kind of joke he made. And he talked about Viagra. And let's talk about that, Victor. How did, as a woman, I felt, I felt a way because I didn't know how to approach it because I don't know if his wife was on the island and he's going to use it with her. You could say it's a joke, but it was a poor, poor joke coming out of prison and being deported back to Barbados and having a bag and saying, let me not drop, drop my bag with this Viagra. To me, it was in bad taste. What do you have to say about that, Victor? I think Don Valenis is a disgrace. I think he's an absolute disgrace. All right. Now, I'm not suggesting that Victor Callender or Sherry Veronica or any other Barbadian is perfect or held in some high sanctimonious value. I, no, 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 no. Not even suggesting that. But what I am suggesting is that Donald Ennis betrayed a public trust, went to prison, was convicted. He's a convicted felon, a deportee sent back to Barbados. First person in Barbados' history as a minister of government or ex-minister of government to have come back to Barbados like that. Furthermore, he did not come from Robin Island. There was no Robin Island, no Nelson Mandela statue associated with Don Valenis. And for him to have landed at Barbados and to have made the statement that he made was misogynistic, disgraceful, and it showed a complete lack of contrition. That's what Victor Callender thinks about that, right? Nobody appointed me chief judge and lawyer. I'm not above anybody else. I have my own failings, my own shortcomings. But at least in the process of a shortcoming and of my failures, I'm willing to be contrite. He has shown no contrition unless he started growing some, some contrition testicles since he's gotten back on the island of Barbados. But to have made the statement which he made, no, I'm not ingratiated to him in any way, shape, or form based on his behavior, based on the things he said, Sherry Veronica. I, I agree, but like I said... First, I asked about his wife. I wondered if she was on the island. And people, they say Barbados is very small. But yet when you start to ask some really tough questions, nobody knows anything. They don't know anything. So I didn't know how to approach it. But wasn't he also accused? Isn't it also alleged that he was running some sort of video, X-rated video streaming on YouTube or somewhere and while he was a minister, wasn't that something that was alleged? So for him to have gone there, I think it was in really poor taste. That's what I think. It was in exceptionally poor taste. And the fact of the matter is that I'm waiting to see what the 30 individuals in the House of Assembly in Barbados, all of Barbados's um, 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 officers of the court, lawyers and others, what they have to say about this that kind of legislation that's necessary to prohibit people like Donald Ennis from ever running for public office or being placed in any position of fiduciary responsibility of again in the island on the island of Barbados. I thought I thought because that was all I thought that was already part of the law. I thought that was already part of your not only common law but maybe all kinds of laws in Barbados that you cannot be a convict or ex convict and hold a public office. Is that not true? I, I do not, I cannot speak intelligently to that because I do not know. There are others in Barbados who are, are best suited to answer that question, but anything is possible in Barbados because so far he has come back. I mean, he hasn't committed any crime so far on his return to Barbados um, yet, but certainly it needs to be spoken to by, by those in power. Those empowered by the people of Barbados need to speak on issues that merit conversations such as these. And the airwaves in Barbados and everything else, the clerics in Barbados, everybody that is holding a 
position or positions in Barbados should speak to the issue of Mr. Innes' return to Barbados. I think, I think he, he should be arrested. Alone? Should he be left alone? I think he should be arrested. To his life? I think so. I, th I, ahead, Sherry, I'm sorry. I think I think Donville Innes, because the inception of that particular criminal matter started in Barbados at the insurance company. I think that he should be arrested. The blueprint is there. As I said in my last video, the blueprint is there. All they need to do is request those files from the United States and they can take it from there. They don't have to reinvent no wheel. They don't have to do that. It's there. And not only that, Inez, Ingrid Inez is wanted and Alex Tasker is wanted on the same, on the same matter. So this is still outstanding in the United States. No matter how many times in his filed an appeal, he has been denied. He is an ex-convict. He has been found guilty and he is an ex-con. How is he going to ing ingratiate himself back into the DLP or any part of political life in Barbados without having that matter totally like gone and it is not gone? It is not gone. It is still there. So how does he proceed when this matter is still over his head? Well, obviously, he came back to Barbados. And if you remember, uh, we had people like Adriel Braffitt who found their way to, to the United States to, to uh, go to court um, there for him. So I'm wondering if this is all part of the Democratic Labour Party's proxy system to to ingratiate itself slowly back to someone who left rather ignominiously uh, and was convicted of a crime. But we have people like Leroy Paris walking around Barbados. I bring his name up because he was linked to scandal and he lives in Barbados as if nothing relatively unscathed. No one is speaking about him either. So again, you know, I go back, I hate to do this on your show, but for, for, for reasons of being honest and above the fray, I mean, people like Patrick King who have been who have been uh, are calling out these people based on what they have done. And, and most recently has, he has called them out. I mean, Donald Innes is not the least, not the, the, the lesser of the many, by far, by far not. So as Patrick King stated, and I agree with Patrick, you've got a whole lot of them walking around Barbados that need to be prosecuted. So we need some truth and some reality to Bar the Barbadian political system. It's time for the Attorney General of Barbados to shut up or put up. Same thing with the Prime Minister. You got Donville Innes there coming back to Barbados. He is an insidious example to the young people of Barbados relative to the crimes that he has committed and the breach of trust that he has exhibited and for him to be back in Barbados landing there as if he is a Nelson Mandela uh, reuniting himself or repatriating himself, repatriating himself from Robin Island is far 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 from what has, has transpired um, he has been convicted he's a convicted felon and if he doesn't or cannot find his way to show contrition, why Why will so many Barbadians have their hands stretched out to him or, or show up at some airport saying, oh, welcome back. Welcome back for what? Welcome back for what? He's a disgrace. And that's where he needs to be placed until he can uh, clear up the, the behavior that he has exhibited in the past and been convicted of, Sherry Veronica. I agree. Let's wait and see what the DLP does. Uh, let's see if they accept him back. Let's see if he can even be qualified to run in um, political race again. Let's let's see what happens because I doubt the D beat the D, what, the AG. I doubt the AG is going to arrest him the dpp she takes do they take um um information and instructions from the ag how does it how does it go however it goes the ag the cop the chief of police and then the director the dpp the director of public prosecutions let's see what those people do because like i said and i will say again donville innes is an ex-con he's an ex-con and the crime started in barbados Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. And, Bob, and, uh, and furthermore, to end on this note, mm -hmm. Barbados, the world is watching you. Mm -hmm. Other Caribbean countries are watching. They mm -hmm. are watching. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, um, uh, Barbadian expats are watching. 
because if 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 he could go if he could go back to Barbados and act as though nothing happened, any ex con that is deported from the U.S. should be able to go back to Barbados and just do things as normal, like nothing happened. They're watching. They're watching. This man wasn't convicted. The conviction wasn't pulled from thin air here in the United States of America. No, 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 no. No, it was not. The evidence. The, the evidence was was beyond a preponderance. Um, he was he was guilty. He had the best legal team that money could buy, yes. and still could not find his way to not be convicted and sent to federal prison. And he in failed Texas. on the appeal. He's a convicted felon. And he failed on the appeal. He failed on appeal. So it, it stands. He's he's a con. He's an ex con. He's an ex con. So yes. let's let's wait and see because, like I said, I just did a video asking the attorney general and the director of public prosecutions and your cop, the COP there, what are you going to do? This is, this is an open wound. What, what are you going to do? It's, it, he's walking around. He's an open cesspool. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What a message. What a message for young Barbadians to have to grapple with. Mm -hmm. What a message. Thank um, you. What a message, people. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we've gone. We've gone from from the in house to the out house with reference to Donville Ennis. Mm -hmm. It's disgraceful, disgraceful, truly disgraceful. Thank you, thank you, Victor. Thank you. This is Shay Veronica.